computer system bonding termination is defined in Article 100 as a device for connecting bonding conductors of communication systems to the grounding electrode system. And that's what we're looking at here in the photograph underneath the panel board. Uh, if you were to take the little cover off of that, you'd basically find a little terminal bar with like four uh, open terminals on it. So what is it? Where do you need it? What does it do? Well, 250.94 uh, is where it's required. And basically you would put it at your building disconnect, your service disconnect. And what it does is it allows you, it, it allows really the, the phone people and the satellite dish people, all of these different people, it allows them a way to comply with the NEC, to be quite honest. You see, we've had requirements in the code for a very long time that those different systems had to be connected to the electrical system and be bonded to it. Um, for a long time, this section really kind of took care of itself because one of the ways that you could do that is you could just leave an exposed metal service raceway on the outside of the building and what the low voltage guys would do, the telephone companies, the cable providers, is if they did anything, uh, they would take a little metal strap and go around that non-flexible metal raceway. Now, of course, those little metal straps are listed for indoor use only, but that's okay, we won't talk about that. And they would use those and they would connect their systems to us and we'd be bonded together and everybody was going to be happy. The problem is, as you can see in this picture, in a lot of locations such as mine, we don't use metal raceways for service conductors anymore. We use PVC conduit if it's underground. If it's you know overhead, we might still use rigid or IMC. But as soon as the cable companies and the satellite dish people and the phone companies, as soon as they started realizing how important it was to connect their equipment to us, that was about the same time that we stopped using uh, you know, metal raceways. So they would go to the service disconnect wanting to connect to us and they didn't have a way to connect to us because the conduits were plastic. So how do they bond to us? Well, that's where this rule comes into play in 250.94. We need to leave them a way to connect to us. That way they can satisfy uh, sections 800, uh, 805.100, 810.21, and 820.100 for telephone, uh, satellite dish and antenna, and coaxial cable, respectively. So there you go. That would be your inter-system bonding termination. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, and ring the bell.